Hi, everybody. Uh, I hope uh, you are staying safe in this uh, Corona days. Today, uh, I will start uh, the first lectures, on, first online lecture for math, uh, math 120, uh, sorry, math 476 algebraic curves. Uh, let's say lecture one, online lecture one. Uh, uh, in this uh, in this video, I will re just review the what we have done in the chapter two. Uh, so, a review of chapter two. Okay, let's remember. Um, so, let's write like this. Uh, so, let K be an algebraically closed field. Let's write like that. Uh, uh, algebraically closed. Closed field, always. Uh, and an algebraic variety, remember, uh, an algebraic variety is an algebraic variety is an irreducible uh, algebraic set. In the affine n, affine n space. Uh, of K. Uh, let, uh, suppose now, uh, let's take an algebraic non-empty uh, non algebraic variety and uh, algebraic variety. So always uh, our algebraic sets will be uh, algebraic varieties. So remember, for, for algebraic variety, for, for an algebraic set, we have the corresponding ideal, uh, the set of all polynomials, uh, set of all polynomials in uh, n variables, uh, such that f of p is equal to zero for all uh, p in v. So. Uh, this is a, remember this is a prime ideal, uh, is a prime ideal. Ideal, so that uh, if we divide this, uh, so that uh, if we divide this polynomial ring, By this ideal, I, IV, uh, we get another ring, and this is an integral domain. Because this IV is uh, it, uh, is a prime ideal. Integral domain, and this we call this gamma V is. Uh, Coordinate, uh, coordinate ring. Okay, we call this coordinate ring. So now let P be a point in the algebraic variety and let I be the ideal of uh, V, ideal of V. Remember, uh, a rational function, rational function uh, on V uh, is, a, is sort of a quotient of a, two polynomials. Uh, so F, or G from V to uh, V to K. So this may not be defined at every point, but these are polynomials. Uh, so we just restrict these polynomials to V. So this is, uh, these are rational polynomials, rational functions. Uh, then uh, this, we have this OPV as uh, the set of all rational 
all rational functions. Functions on V that are defined, that can be defined uh, at P. So for example, uh, so if we have, for instance, uh, if we take, uh, let's say, let, let's take algebraic variety to be this, just the, the point zero, zero. So if we just take this algebraic variety, uh, let's take this only in, in uh, uh, A2, in two variables. So then uh, if we have f of x is equal to, f of x, y is equal to, let's say x, uh, plus x, y, and g of x, y is equal to, let's say, y, uh, or x, then uh, f of x over g of x is not defined. Defined, uh, let's say, this is g of, this is x plus, well, uh, it's not defined at, uh, uh, on V, but, uh, oops. How do I get rid of this? So give us, uh, hmm. Okay. Let's go down. This is not defined on V, but oops, near Y. Oh. Okay, but uh, but in the In the field uh, k x one uh, x x y, so the, this this is the field uh, of field of fractions of uh, the, the this is field of fractions of uh, the polynomial ring. But in this field, uh, this f of x, f of f of g can be ri also written as uh, when you cancel x's, we have one plus y over one, namely one plus y, so that it can be defined on v, so that uh, this f over g is, uh, so that f over g is a rational function in some sense, it's, it's class actually, its class is uh, in our name left right like this. Uh, in O P V, where P is the point zero zero. So this is this is an example. Okay. Uh, so that uh, namely this O P V is uh, the more precise. It is the f over g's. Namely, this is f plus i over g plus i. Uh, such that g of p is not zero on v. G, g of p is not zero. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, not that. Not that if you take the function from the, into this coordinate ring. If you define a function from phi from uh, uh, k into the coordinate ring, taking lambda to uh, lambda plus i, namely lambda bar, uh, this is one to one, is one to one, so that we can see this is a ring homomorphism, uh, so that we can see k as a sub um, sub ring of gamma v, so that. Uh, this k is, is a subring of gamma v, 
So, and this is also inside this OPV, and this is inside the field of all uh, uh, set of all rational functions, the ring of all rational functions. This is the rational functions, all rational functions. Uh, so remember, this OPV, this rational function that can be defined at P here, uh, and uh, as you see also here, uh, and this KV, the, the all rational functions on V. So it may not be defined at every point of V. So, Let's uh, remember this number what? KV, we could write KV as the quotient of two polynomials uh, restricted to V, restricted to V, where uh, F and G are polynomials in uh, X1 and Xn. Okay, so this is the restriction to V. So you can replace this F and G uh, by something uh, in the ideal of P and the result will be the same, of course. So uh, this OPV is, uh, so it, 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 it was satisfying this, this uh, we have these inclusions, uh, this coordinate ring is, is, uh, con is contained in OPV and OPV is, is contained in the set of all rational functions. This OPV is a local ring local ring. So that means uh, there is only one uh, maximal ideal. There is only one unique maximal ideal, which, is, which consists of all non-units in uh, OPV. So that MPV, the, the notation, this, this is the all non-units in uh, this ring. Namely, this is in some sense, it is the F over G's such that uh, F of P is zero and G of P is not zero in some sense. Because uh, if F of P is zero or if F of P is not zero, then th this would be invertible. Uh, it would be non-unit in this ring. Okay, in this ring OP, OP. Now, let's also remember uh, what's the discrete valuation ring. That is, uh, for short, it is DVR. Oh, that that's a, is a ring. This discrete uh, valuation ring is a ring, a ring R satisfying the following. Satisfying. Uh, the first condition was is that R is R should be an integral domain. domain, which is not a field. Integral domain, but not a field. And second is that R should be, R is a notarian, local ring, local and and the maximal ideal is principle.
So it is a it is a unique maximal ideal. The maximal ideal is principal. So since it is local, it is a unique maximal ideal. That unique maximal ideal should be principal. It should be generated by uh, by only one element. And this is equivalently. This is. Uh, Equivalent to the second condition, let's call this first, second. Uh, equivalently, uh, there is an irreducible, this is useful, irreducible element T in R, oops, T in R, such that uh, for every for every z in R, which is not zero, there exists a unique uh, a unit u in R and non-negative integer 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 n greater than or equal to zero, such that uh, z can be written as u times uh, t to the n. So if uh, if a ring, which is integral domain and not field, if it's uh, if it satisfied one any any one of these two conditions, two or two or two prime, let's say this is two prime, uh, it is called the discrete evaluation ring. Okay, so that's discrete evaluation ring. When we have discrete evaluation ring, uh, so this t, t is called uh, T is called the uniformizing parameter. For T for R. And uh, if we if there is a we showed in in the class that if T is T prime uh, is another uh, uniformizing parameter. Then, uh, then this t prime can be written as some u times t for some in, for some unit u for some unit u in R. So that this uh, this exponent uh, exponent n is uh, uh, does not depend on the choice of this uniformizing parameter. Okay, next. Uh, so suppose now let let now R be the uh, discrete valuation ring, suppose, and M is uh, so by this. By, by these equivalent conditions, uh, two and two prime, uh, this uh, maximal ideal is uh, maximal ideal is principal. So, so it is suppose it is generated by t, and this t is a uniformizing parameter, uh, as we showed. So let now let k be the uh, the field of fractions. of R, field of fractions of R. So if, if Z is in K, is in K, which is not zero, then uh, we show that there exists unique U, uh, unique unit U, uh, in R, in K, everything is unit, but in R, it should be a unit in R, and an integer integer n. Now this n is need not be positive, like that. Uh, 
this z is u times t to the n. T to the n. And this n is called, this number, uh, this exponent n is called, it is unique. It does not depend on the choice of this, uh, uh, this uniformizing parameter t. This n is called the order of, order of uh, z. And let's denote like this, order of z. So that uh, we have a function. So I also let's define, also define the order of uh, zero to be plus infinity, plus infinity, then uh, then uh, then as we showed that. So when we so this order is a function. So that, uh, sorry, this order, order is a function from uh, field of fractions to uh, Z in, in infinity. So that, uh, and this, it takes, it takes the value infinity only at zero, uh, only at zero. Okay, and uh, this order function, uh, this R is uh, the set of all Z in K such that uh, the order of Z is non-negative. And this maximal ideal M is the all element in K such that uh, order of Z is positive order of z is positive. This uh, I order of z is positive. So uh, this order function, uh, order function k into z satisfies the following to the to plus infinity, of course, also uh, satisfies The first one is the order of uh, a point is plus infinity if and only if z is zero. This is uh, by definition. Uh, second, uh, that order of z1 times z2 is, is equal to the order of uh, Z1 plus the order of Z2. The reason for this is that if you write Z1 as U1 times T to the N and Z2 as uh, U2 times T to the M, then uh, this Z1 times Z2 becomes U1, U2. This is a new unit U times uh, t to the n plus m, so that the order of z1 plus z1 times z2 is uh, n plus m, which is the order of z1 plus the order of z2. Okay. Next, also, uh, order of one more thing is that the order of z1 plus z2. Z1 plus Z2 is greater than or equal to the minimum of the order of uh, order of Z1 and the order of Z2. Okay, uh, so the, you, we can shortly prove this like this. Uh, so suppose Z is equal to U times uh, T to the N and uh, Z1, uh, Z2 is let's say V times T to the M, assume that N is less than, less than or equal to N, M. So if we add these up, Z1 plus Z2 becomes, uh, Z1 plus Z2 becomes U plus, U, uh, U times T to the N plus V times T to the M. And we can write this as, uh, 
u times uh, u plus v times t to the m minus n times t to the n. So that this is another element in uh, in k. So that uh, so this is in k, but this is also in R. Sorry. Moreover, this in R, so that this order of this element is uh, is positive, uh, non-negative. So that this is uh, some uh, some unit, oops, some unit, plus say some unit u prime times some t to the k times t to the n, which is u prime times t to the n plus k, where this k is uh, non-negative, non-negative, so that. Uh, so that the order of z1 plus z2 is uh, is n plus k, which is at least n, at least n, which is the minimum of the order of z1 uh, and order of z2. Okay, next. Uh, so I will finish uh, this review today uh, like this and uh, I will hopefully I will add up more videos soon.